Today I'm going to be animating the 1995 Amazon logo into today's version. So the original one features a river and my idea is to make this river slowly morph into an orange line that will eventually become the arrow. I want to make the dot com fly away since that is no longer in the Amazon name and then make the other Amazon parts swoop around and morph into that larger text. The original uppercase A will morph into the lowercase one and here's the final animation. Today I'm going to be animating this 1969 AT&T logo into today's version. So my idea is to make the bell look like it is ringing and then eventually the ball inside the bell becomes the new AT&T logo. So I made that bell tilted and meanwhile made the outer circle kind of dissipate into thin air. Then the old AT&T font morphs into the new one and finally I'm going to have the bell reveal into this ball which transforms into the modern logo. And here's the final animation. Today I'm going to be animating this 1953 Burger King logo into today's version. This sun has a sort of similar shape to the bun in the original, but I need to animate the rays leaving it. I need to move the text to match the current text placement, and I want to have the bun shape transform into the color and kind of do this bounce that then shoots the color and the new font all the way down throughout the rest of the logo. And here's the final animation. Today I'm going to be animating the 1967 Pringles logo into today's version. So my initial thought is to have all the lines on the original logo kind of disappear or turn into the other things on the new, more clean version. So I want to have the hair slowly start whisking into the eyebrows, the eyes will become the small dots of the modern one, and I think it could be cool if the red cheeks kind of escape the face and eventually bump into the text, transforming it into the red version from today. And here's the final animation!